Tonight, this retired Marine from San Diego is accused of an elaborate scheme to cover up the murder of his ex-girlfriend. And the woman is presumed dead, but as 10 News reporter Steve Furian explains why Brian Bremiger is not charged with murder. Yvonne Baldelli's surviving relatives drove hours to attend the formal charging of the man they believe killed her. I haven't seen him since the day he and my aunt left Panama, and um, it was just very shocking to me and very painful. When Yvonne disappeared in November 2011 in Panama, they went themselves to search the swamp around Bocas del Toro, where she had gone to live with a retired Marine boyfriend, Brian Brimager. Everyone who had met them both told us they found him creepy and that he beat her in public, that he gave her big black eyes and bruises all over her body. There was no sign of Yvonne, but detectives reported finding internet searches on her laptop for, quote, washing mattress blood stain. They believe the bloody mattress from their hostile bedroom was thrown into the ocean. The indictment says Brimager weaved an elaborate hoax using false emails and ATM withdrawals in an effort to convince Yvonne's family that she was still alive and in Costa Rica with another man. They didn't believe it. When we searched for her, we went to this exact spot where this picture was taken. Unfortunately, we were too late, but we hope that it's not too late to find answers of where she is. The charges are 10 counts of obstruction of justice. He could get 20 years in prison for each count and five more years on the single charge of lying to a federal officer. A murder charge has not been brought. Ms. Baldelli was killed in Panama, not in the United States. We are working with the Panamanian authorities on the case, but that is an ongoing investigation. Everything that they've told us has been that they will pursue murder eventually. Those charges alone could put Brenniger in a prison for the rest of his life. Next, a detention hearing to determine if bail should be set. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.